Hey guys, Mr. Korth here, and today I wanna to talk about something that will hopefully be easy for you to understand. We're gonna talk about how many calories our body needs and how many calories are in certain foods, okay? So follow with me, we're gonna make this very simple. The first thing we wanna talk about is what is called a basal metabolic rate, or BMR for short. Here's what it is, it's very simple. Your BMR is the amount of calories that your body needs or burns when you are sleeping, when your body is at rest, your body needs calories. Well, what does it need calories for? Well, it needs calories to get your heart beating. It needs calories to help you breathe, to expand and contract your lungs. You need calories for your food to digest and for brain activity. So there's a, a lot of reasons why your body needs calories. Now, your basal metabolic rate is different compared to other people. So for instance, your age, your gender, so males will actually need more calories than females, your weight and your height, and your activity level. Okay, so if you're a super active person, you're gonna need more calories than someone who is sedentary or not as active. Now, weight gain or weight loss. The next thing I wanna talk about, how do we gain weight or why do we gain weight? And why do we lose weight? It's very simple. It's all about the amount of calories that you bring in versus the amount of calories that you expend or the calories that go out of your body, okay? So a calorie is a form of energy. So when we eat food, we get energy. When we exercise, when we move, even as we just learned, when we sleep, when our heart beats, when we breathe, when our brain is functioning, we burn calories. So we will gain weight if we are bringing in more calories than what we are expending or using, okay? And we will lose weight if we are burning more calories than we are consuming. Of course, this is on a consistent basis, okay? Now, foods in particular, okay? Which foods have more calories, less calories? Let's talk about that just for a moment, okay? Simple math here, all right? Foods contain macronutrients, such as proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, okay? Very simply, both protein and carbohydrates, one gram has four calories, okay? So if you have a gram of protein and a gram of carbohydrates, each of them will have four calories, all right? Fat, however, one gram of fat has a total of nine calories calories okay so let's see if we can determine how many calories are in just one bag of this Orville Redenbacher popcorn okay now this is a particular brand not all popcorns are the same some have more fat which means they'll have more calories right this one actually has less fat so according to the nutrition label on the box okay it tells us that there are three grams of protein, 23 grams of carbs, and two grams of fat. So, to determine how many calories, we're gonna use our, um, our chart over here. So we know that protein has four calories for every gram. There are three grams in the protein, so three times four is 12. So there are 12 calories just from the protein that's in this popcorn. There are 23 grams of carbohydrates. Well, there are four calories for every gram, so 23 times four equals 92. And then there are two grams of fat in the popcorn. There are nine calories in one gram of fat, so we'll multiply two times nine, and that's going to give us 18. Now, according to this nutrition label, they tell us that there are 100 calories in one bag of the popcorn. But we just did the math, or we're going to finish doing the math here, and we're gonna add up the amount of calories in the protein, the carbs, and the fat, and we'll see if it's more or less or the same than 100. So we've got two plus two is four, plus eight is 12, carry the one, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we just did the math and there are actually 122 calories 
in one bag of popcorn and not 100. So we've talked about this before. Some nutrition labels lie. They're not always accurate, okay? So you now know how to count how many calories are in every food item that has a nutrition label. So I encourage you, go home, pull out a couple of labels, find out the amount of protein, carbs, and fat, multiply the protein and carbs by four, the fat by nine, add it up, and see if it is accurate or if those labels are lying, okay? Have a good day.